Hi Galaxy Harvesters! Once you've been harvesting for a while, it can become difficult to keep track of all the resources you have or want to get. In this video, I'm going to show you some helpful tools on Galaxy Harvester to make that job easier. The feature we're going to look at here is called Favorites or My Resources. Take your pick. You get to the My Resources page by clicking the suitcase icon after you've logged in. To start with, there isn't much to look at because we haven't told the site what resources we want to keep track of. To do that, you have two options. Right here on this page, you can add resources by name. Just start typing the name of a resource in this box. Select it once you see the name and click Add. Now you've got a resource in your list. The other way to add resources to your page is while browsing around Galaxy Harvester. If you're over on the resource list page or anywhere else the resources show up, you'll notice the star favorite icon on each resource. Just click it to toggle that resource as a favorite. If we go back to our resources page, it shows up there. When you add a resource to your favorites, it just gets added to the top default group. But once you get a lot of them added, you're going to want to organize them somehow. You can do that by moving them into different groups. In order to create a new group and move some resources into it, just check the boxes next to the resources to move and click the Move Checked button. In this window, you can select an already existing group or type in the name of a new group. We don't have any groups yet, so let's type in a new one. Click Move and you've got a new group. There's another way to move resources to a group that already exists. Just drag the row to the header of the group you want it to be in. I'll go add some more resources now to fill out my list and make some more groups. You can also keep track of how many units of a resource you have. Just type in your quantity in the resource box row and it will be saved when your cursor leaves the box. You'll notice you can also filter your list of resources. Say you want to see just the resources that don't have any units entered. Set units less than one and click go and your list is filtered. One last thing on this page. If you want to take a resource off your resources page, just click the favorite star in its row. But keep in mind that once you remove a resource, any units amount you have entered for it gets erased. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for using Galaxy Harvester everyone. 